Hello, I'm John Russell. Some consonant sounds are like coins. A coin is usually made from one material, but the front and back look different. There are consonant sounds that are also like that. Today, we will explore how coins are like certain kinds of sounds in American English. In previous videos, I talked about stop consonant sounds, sounds that involve stopping the air for a brief amount of time. I also talked about voicing, movement of the vocal cords. But how do stop consonant sounds connect with voicing? There are six stop sounds in American English. They are p, b, t, d, k, g. And let's see how these sounds connect with coins. First, we have the p and b sounds. These sounds are made out of the same basic material. They both require you to use both of your lips. P, b. So, what is the difference between them? Voicing. P is voiceless and b is voiced. It's like two sides of the same coin, heads and tails, voiced and voiceless. The other four stop sounds act in the same way. Now, the problem with stop sounds is that it can be difficult to tell if your vocal cords are moving. This is because stop sounds can't really be made longer. After all, they involve stopping the air. But there are important patterns in how English speakers use stop sounds with vowels. But that will have to be a subject of a future video. That's all for today. Keep up the good work.